Hello, Harry. Hello, Father. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm JT. Welcome to another video from me here at Campervan Journey. So, good morning. Welcome to another beautiful day here in the French Alps. Been really, really lucky with the weather this week. It's been absolutely glorious. No snow, but super cold and crystal clear blue skies most days. In fact, today is probably the cloudiest it's been, if you can call that cloudy. Anyway, it's our last day here, last skiing day here today. So I'm just popping off to the Super U to get uh, some final provisions. Then we're gonna pop up to the mountains, do a little bit more skiing, and then we need to be back to get packed up uh, later on this afternoon. So we've got an early start tomorrow to try and head off to beat the traffic. Fancy a pan of chocolate, bag of 10. Result. There you go. Any variety you like. It's just so beautifully presented. All this beautiful veg, fruit and veg all laid out. This is probably my favourite section. They've got their own sausage section. It's surrounded by regional sausage songs. The smell is amazing. I want to be Comte please to take that with us. Wasn't on the list, but never mind. Okay, so I think that's everything. Let's go and pay. There is an intermarche here in Bourg Saint Louis, and there's a little at the other end of the town as well, but this super view is definitely our favourite. So there we go, all done. We'll head back to the cabin, get all our kit packed up, and then head off to the slopes for our final day of skiing. But so as I said, this Super U here in Borg Sam Reese is really, really good. It's, it's upgraded a few, um, in fact, it was being done up the last time we came about three years ago, and it's really plush now. So if you're here, check it out. It's a really nice cafe as well and a sort of craft shop upstairs. Anyway, back to the cabin, get our ski gear on, and go and hit the slopes for one last time. So it's our final day's skiing. We've come to the top of Villards at 1800. We're gonna spend the day doing the green and blue ones for them. So hopefully we'll have a good few last ones. So let's do the green cabin run first.
So we've enjoyed some lovely skiing this morning at 1800 using the Villard lifts and there's two or three really nice green and blue runs that uh, are just right for us at our level of expertise. So I've enjoyed a beautiful picnic on the side here, lovely surroundings all about. And then we're going to do probably a couple more runs, check in our ski equipment, back it into sport and then head back to the cabin to pack up, get ready for our journey home. Remember if you're enjoying these videos that I'm putting together, please hit the button to like and subscribe and thank you very much indeed for watching. So this is going to be the Belvedere Blue Run, starting at Villars with just me, I think. Everybody else has gone their separate ways. Just got a couple more runs to try and fit in before we head back to drop off our kit. So let's see how we go. Blue Run, possibly the penultimate run that we're going to do. Let's get a little bit flat. all down in one piece well I'm down in one piece the rest of them will be down in a minute what a great way to end the week all in one piece so time to take the ski equipment back drop it back off at Intersport where we rented it from and then head back to the cabin pack up and get ready for the long trip home so it's come to that time at the end of the trip where we need to pack up to go home always sad but I guess we can look forward to coming next time. Trying to get away early in the morning, hence the late night pack. Fingers crossed we have to get everything packed and loaded without too much trouble, especially using this spacemate that we've been trying out on the trip. Let's see how we get on. So a lot of the stuff that we needed to keep accessible for our journey down uh, we won't need to do this time because we're not planning on sleeping overnight on the way back so fingers crossed um, I can just get everything in quickly without the need to worry too much about being able to fold the bed down. The only time we may need the bed on the way back and haven't really discussed this with the rest of the family is there's a chance that we might get held up due to uh, industrial action uh, at the crossing. The Border Force um, employees are going on strike this weekend so fingers crossed we're not going to get delayed too much so I don't really want to spend a night in the van whilst we wait for long queues to, to go through but uh, let's hope that's not famous last words. So let's get some of the boxes and get them loaded into the space mate. That's two big heavy boxes all loaded in. Slide those back. Got a little bit of space on top. And then all of this space accessible for everything else. Claire's just packing our clothes up in the window bags to slot in. Found a cheeky little way of uh, storing our ski helmets on the way down just by running them on a bungee cord. So there we go, all the helmets bungeed in. Let's go and see what else is ready to go. Our window storage bags in. So these are clothes for two people for a whole week. That's one end. Good to go, let's go and get the second. So there's not much more to get loaded in, but uh, we'll try and get everything done 
before we finish up this evening. So in the morning we just get up, get dressed, get breakfast and get on the road before the traffic. Okay, so I think we're pretty much there. There's just a couple of little bits to go in which we can do in the morning. So I think it's time to get ourselves a nice evening meal, glass of wine, early night, and then we're good to get on the road, hopefully by 7.30 tomorrow morning. We just had a thing flash through on the app from Les Arcs that you can subscribe to called Uge uh, about the traffic reports for tomorrow. So I'll just go and check that out. But uh, I know it's going to be busy, but hopefully we can be at the front of the queue. Let's go and enjoy our last evening here in the cabin. So it's 5.30 in the morning. French people either side of us have been up really early. So we just decided just let's get up and go. And then we can get on our way and get out before the traffic. Just got to wake the boys up in a minute. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Tear my town, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, somewhere I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. So that's a bit better. Espresso just to wake up a bit. We've been traveling for three hours and time is just about, uh, oh, what time is it? Just about 10 o'clock. So we left just before um, seven, half past six, quarter to seven. Traffic as predicted was busy, but not as busy as if we'd left later. We're now um, approaching Lyon. So we passed through the tunnels that come under the Bosch Mountains and um, just coming out of the mountains, the weather has changed completely. We've got clouds all around and we haven't had seen clouds all week. So we're just having a quick coffee, quick snack, and then we'll be on to leg two of the trip back to the Euro Tunnel. Queues for the toilets were horrendous, so Gents wasn't too bad, but Claire's probably still clearing. Hope she didn't need to go too badly. Okay, so it's lunch time. We are in Bone at a supermarket where we visited many times before when we stayed here. We just decided to pull off the auto route because because it's a busy travelling day, all of the airs are absolutely chock-a-block so we've driven five minutes off the motorway come to a local supermarket to get some bread and some bits for lunch uh, there's a fuel station right here which is 170 a litre instead two euros a litre so significantly cheaper so we'll fill up with fuel there have a little rest um, use the loose and then get on our journey so top tip there if you've got the time and inclination pull off the motorway for a Pick a junction that's five minutes or so, the town's five minutes or so from the auto route itself, and then you can have a little bit of a less frenetic stop. Claire had to queue for 20 minutes to go to the toilet earlier just because they were so busy, but not here. So we're going to enjoy a baguette, a little bit of ham, some crisps, and then head on our way. 
hopefully we've got about another five hours before we get to Euro Tunnel. We'll probably split that into two runs. And then our total travel time, uh, including stops, will probably have been about 11 or 12 hours. So uh, quite long, but um, friends of ours who stayed on our trip as well left to fly from Geneva Airport and they've had a nightmare journey from Borg Saint Maurice to Geneva so far. So it'll be interesting to see how traveling by road and traveling by plane compare. Anyway, I'm gonna go and eat my lunch. Good idea, Manas. Nice little lunch. Sat nav says 610 kilometers to the Euro Tunnel. Should arrive at about 7 o'clock. About 5 hours of travel time, assuming no delays. Break that up into two. Check the Euro Tunnel website and the there's no mention about any strike action, which concerns might affect the journey. So, fingers crossed. So far, so good. So, final pit stop before we get to the tunnel. Coincidentally, this is the stop that we stayed at overnight when we were driving up, when we had our first overnight stop, we slept here. Um, no planning just happened to be. The last one we pulled into was so rammed we had to come out and drive on the other um, to here. And as you can see, it's pretty much empty, which is great. So we're just going to have a quick snack, quick drink, and then it's about an hour from here to the tunnel and hopefully, hopefully, we might be able to get an earlier train. We're booked on a train around about 11.30. If we can get there about half past eight, nine o'clock, uh, potentially uh, for a bit of luck, fingers crossed, and not too many queues, uh, we might find ourselves on an earlier train. So next stop, Eurotunnel. So we've arrived at Eurotunnel. Uh, long drive, um, probably, what time is it? Time is just half past eight, so that's about 12 and a half hours um, since we left Borg Samaries this morning. Stopped three times on the way, so it's probably total driving time of um, a good 11 and a half, a good 11 to 11 and a half hours, so about two hours longer than you would expect due to the traffic delays leaving uh, the ski resort but then we knew that was going to be a problem which is why we got up early and left early. So we've arrived early um, Eurotunnel have scheduled us onto a train that's an hour earlier than anticipated which is great um, but we've still got uh, a couple of hours to wait before that uh, boarding commences so I'm going to grab a little bit of shut eye and uh, Claire and the boys have wandered inside to go and have a stretch of their legs and um, we're almost almost on the final leg of our trip which is a little bit sad really and as we were driving up through France having left this morning the crisp blue frosty skies of the Alps arriving here in northern France and it's wet mild drizzy drizzly and windy um, just a real contrast so a bit of a an anti-climax but Never mind, we've got great memories of the trip, so means that we'll just have to go back for another visit. So there we go. We made it to the Euro Tunnel. We caught the train on time and after a journey of 700 miles roughly from the Alps to Cali in one day. Bit of an epic drive worth it to finish off an epic trip. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, really hope you enjoyed sharing this trip with us, we enjoy sharing our adventures with you. If 
you did, please join us hit the like button, like and subscribe, and follow us here on Camera Journey. We'll see you on our next adventure very, very soon. Thanks for watching.